It will quench every thirst. It will fulfill every need. And this is why we're, 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 so, we're so excited to share it. We're bubbling as we share it. And, and, you know, sometimes it could come across like, oh, that can't be real. But it's so genuine to know that we have a relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I can go before my Father asking anything. He says, come into my presence and ask anything that you will. He'll meet you at the point of your need. Give you insight and understanding. Nothing can stop that kind of love of God operating in action. Nothing can stop that. That's why we stay in the presence of the Lord. That's why we stay in a family that's strengthened and strong in the word of God. To keep us going forward and not backward. Maybe you say, I'm saved, I love God, but I'm not walking with the infilling of Holy Spirit through the evidence of speaking in tongues. I was counseling, ministering to someone earlier today, and as I was, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me to share with them that they need to operate in the gift of uh, the evidence of speaking in tongues. The Lord told me to tell them, this is where you need this gift. Because there are times when people, things are bombarding your mind, you don't know what to say. He says, this is when you need to speak in your heavenly language. And it will confuse what the enemy is trying to do in you. I began to share that with them. And they received that word. And I said, now as you start practicing what God is saying, practice your heavenly gift of speaking in another, another tongue. And it's going to help you in those moments where you feel helpless, where you don't feel like you know what to do. Holy Spirit is going to begin to make uh, utterances through you that you will be speaking to the Father. And the enemy cannot come through that, cannot come against that. They said, I received that, Pastor. I'm going to do that. Maybe you say, I, I was saved and I backed up from God. Or I'm saved, but I don't have a church. And I need a place to grow. And I'm telling you in this hour, people need to be connected to the right source. Not just a source. You need the right source. You, you, need, you need to know that uh -uh, when I talk to my leaders, when I talk to this person at my church, I know that, that God is speaking without a shadow of doubt that we're hearing the voice of God. The Bible says that those that hear the voice of God, no other voice will they follow. My sheep know my voice. No other voice will they follow. As Minister Barbara was saying, we got to know the voice of God. It's very important. You're leading your family. You're working around different things and different people. You got to know the voice of God as he speaks. Holy Spirit, small and still voice that speaks to you, ministers to you in your matured state as a believer. So we want to encourage you tonight, just before we leave, through all these invitations, this is the body of Christ here at Jesus, people. We are rising to the occasions. God is putting us in, in places well, we're not getting familiar, but we are bringing in the faith of God. And God is making things change in our atmosphere. Where they are respecting the word of God that's coming forth from your life. Because they're seeing a difference. Because this word is building you up by the spirit. Thank you, Father. So if you're here tonight or maybe you're watching, those invitations were for you. Please make sure that you let us know. Send us emails. Follow up with us that you've joined into the ministry. Hallelujah. The more the Lord is adding daily those that are being saved, he says, to the church. The church is not diminishing. The church is getting stronger. Hallelujah. The church of Jesus Christ, even the Jesus people, is getting stronger by the goodness of God. So we love you. Hallelujah. We're going to have our time for our seed time and sowing. We're giving tonight, thanking the Lord for what he continues to do. And don't forget this coming Sunday, we're sowing our seed, the seed sowing Sunday. So we are coming with our specific seed above our tithe, above our offering. Those of us that the Lord has been ministering to, to give hundreds of dollars. God's been dealing with me about things. I'm looking forward for breakthrough. I'm expecting the supernatural as I'm seeing it vision from God so we're looking for we're gonna put that seed in the ground here in the house and watch God continue to do what he says we are tithers and we are blood bought we strong how many strong in their faith in the Lord I'm telling you right now they said did y'all see the woman king they said that movie was good I haven't seen it yet but praise the Lord hallelujah the power of God is with us 
So we stand firm and we believe. If you're ready to pray, I'm ready to pray. Father, thank you once again for this fellowship that we had tonight. You continue to be with us. You continue to shower us. And Lord, we're so appreciative that you, you love us because you you first loved through Jesus. And so we have the ability to come to you presenting our gifts Everything that you've given to us, we give it back to you. We say, take it, Lord, bless it. Thank you for covering and blessing our household, that there's always meat, that there's never lack, that we're walking in great stewardship. And God, you're opening up the automatic doors, not just the doors we push, or not just the revolving doors where we're waiting on time, but you are opening up automatically. So when we walk into places and we walk in position, the doors of your favor just open up for us. And we're just inclined to do and continue to do and put it into the house because we know that the house is where all great things come from. Your house. So we seed it so that we meet the need. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray and we say amen. God bless you as you give tonight. Hallelujah. who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 NIV Upcoming events Make plans to sow on Sunday September 25th during Seed Sowing Sunday. Bring your seed to the storehouse and sow with faith and expectation to believe what God is doing on our behalf. We are in place for supernatural provision from the Lord. Come expecting from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. New visitors welcome. If this is your first time visiting with us at Jesus People Ministries here in person or online, we'd like to welcome you. Please stand or wave in the online chat. Welcome. Hallelujah. Well, welcome once again. And of course, we're just we're just ecstatic. I'm telling you, this is a great week. Great week of victory. So you take what we heard today and tonight and you let that victory just supersede the rest of your week and your weekend. Continue to pray one for another. Looking forward to Sunday. And, and already we're almost in October. Getting ready for Founders Week. Y'all going to be ready for Founders Week, right? We're going to have a great time. We're putting everything together, finalizing all of our guests, and just, just looking forward to a great grand time of revelation. The Lord continues to uh, put before us great dainties, and we're eating from the king's table. Amen? He set us at the table, and he says, come on and live. And don't, don't apologize for the goodness of God that's on your life. So as you leave this place, and of course, thank you once again for everybody that celebrated with us on Sunday for Dr. G. Her actual birthday is tomorrow. So make sure you, you send us some love and shout outs and post your pastor. Hallelujah. And give God the praise for our overseer. And she continues to do the work, the work of the Lord looking good too. Amen. Had a celebration. And we wish 
everybody could have come, but those that RSVP, we were in the building. Amen. It was a great time, great festivities, but we thank God for this house and this church family. Look at somebody say, I so love my church family. Tell them I love you. I so love you guys. I'm so appreciative that God has us here and that we serve together, work together. Amen. What will we do without the presence of the Lord? Where will we be without his love? So as we leave this place, we never leave his presence. We go with the grace of God. Father, we thank you. So love you, Lord. So wonderful you are to us. And we will continue to stand and declare your works. Each and every one of us. Protected under the auspice of your grace. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that rests on our lives. We walk in safety and protection as we go and come till we see each other again. We'll pray together on Saturday or tomorrow, Wednesday, but we'll see you on Sunday rejoicing in the Lord. Invite someone to, to the house of the Lord Sunday. Tell them to come and hear the good word of God and be empowered in this atmosphere because God is moving. Amen. We love you. God bless you. You are Dismiss. Hallelujah.